Hi guys, uh, I'm Eric Bravo and this is the Sword Boardroom. I just kind of wanted to do a little informal video for you guys this week. Um, I just wanted to touch upon, I've been getting a lot of messages asking how hard is it to get into the animation industry and um, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, from my experience, the animation industry is, I mean, entertainment in general is just a hard industry to break in if you don't know anybody you know and um i feel pretty proud of myself to know that i made it into the industry without knowing anybody through you know internships and just like being persistent and having a lot of patience um but it's a hard industry you know it it, it doesn't come in easy and you have to work towards it you know, uh, being in the animation industry, it's very, it's not super cutthroat, but it's super competitive, you know, and I know a lot of people who want to be in the animation industry are artists and they want to be able to storyboard or draw or paint. And those jobs are even more competitive than just getting any entry level position in animation. Um, but what most people I don't think realize is a lot of those artists, they start as PAs or production assistants and they network and they make it known that they want to be an artist and they work towards that goal. And most of these animation studios, they allow that, like they encourage you to, if you're interested in character designs, if you're a PA, they, if you're part of the studio, they're like, go ahead and set set meetings with a bunch of character designers you know ask ask them a bunch of questions figure out how they went about getting their position draw every day they they provide classes for you to participate in it's you know it they really want you to succeed and do what you want um but you have to do well in that position as well um but yeah i i don't think a lot of people realize you know it's okay to start as a production assistant. It's okay to start at a job that you don't 100% want, but at least you're in the industry and you're making it known that you want something else and you're working towards that goal. You know, it's being a PA, it's tough, but you learn a lot about the industry and you learn a lot about animation you figure out, you know, what production is and how it could help with the artist. And when you do make that crossover to the artist position, you know, you understand production and you could be a better artist that way. And you could help, you know, the show that you're on, like even more than than, than you could if you weren't a PA. Um, so I, I just wanted to encourage you guys to, you know, not be so... Uh, to to kind of think and, and just want to fig figure out how to get into the industry and and just network from there you know once you get in the industry it's a lot easier to jump you know from the production side to the creative side I just wanted you guys to know that um, you know it, it's okay if you start off as a PA people start off at entry level positions it, it, nothing wrong with that you know and um yeah just don't limit yourself don't pigeonhole yourself to just what i want to be a character designer i'm going to apply to be a character designer i'm not going to get anything else that's not a good way to think about this yeah i mean that's my little um you know video for for today and i hope it you know inspires somebody um you know because i'm the same way you know i, I really used to think like I want this position. I don't want to be a PA. I don't want to, you know, start from the bottom. I want to start, you know, <laughs> from the top, but it's not going to happen that way. You know, for, for most of us, for some of you guys, sure it might, but being realistic, a lot of us have to start from the bottom and that's okay. You know, we have to pay our dues some way. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions at all, you know, feel free to leave me a um, question down below. Leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get to them. All right, guys. Until next time. See you guys.